Want to know what actions the city of Portland is taking to address the ongoing vandalism during the protests? Elise Haas spoke with the Regional Arts and Culture Council to find out what steps are being taken on their end when it comes to protecting public art. Elise? Ken, so it's no doubt that we are in a time of racial reckoning, and the Black Lives Matter movement has really made a lot of people look back on our history and how we are portraying it through public art. And so the Regional Arts and Culture Council says that it's becoming more clear whose voice has been left out of the picture when making these artistic decisions. So as statues like the Thomas Jefferson statue outside Jefferson High School quickly became a monument of protest for racial reasons, there were other statues like the elk statue that just happened to be located in a place of tension. Nevertheless, this has sparked the city and regional arts and culture council to extensively review Portland's public art collection. They are flagging monuments right now that no longer align with the city's values. The director of public art tells me this is an important part of the critical national and local conversations about systemic racism and injustice and how it's upheld in our community. She says monuments are one of them. So then the, the challenge there is for everyone, as you're looking at art or monuments, what is this? What is the history of it? Mm -hmm. What is the 360 history? What are, what are the pieces that I know and what are the pieces that I don't know? Um, are there aspects to this historical figure that maybe aren't part of what I was taught in school? What are those? And do we see things differently now than we saw them previously. The city of Portland recently adopted anti-racist statements. They and the Art Council are using these guidelines along with input from community partners to help really evaluate which statues that they are going to remove. So out here at Jefferson High School, right outside uh, the track field, was where the Thomas Jefferson statue used to sit before protesters pulled it down. Thomas Jefferson was one of the founding fathers. He was our third president. He also owned over 600 slaves in his lifetime. Reporting live in North Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.